hi welcome back to my channel so I have created this video for those who really want to learn mule 4 from scratch so in this video we'll discuss about the full course description for mule 4 like like what things or what content is required in order to clear the certification then we'll see the certification details and also then we'll go through the prices and coupons available in market so first mule available in market so there are basically two mule versions available in market mule 3 and mule 4 so mule 4 is the latest version which is currently basically supported by the mule soft also mule 3 supported by the mule soft but later on they are planning to vanish the mule 3 and then will they will continue with the mule 4 so in this video whatever we'll discuss we'll discuss about the mule 4 only so the course content for mule 4 so first course content is the introduction where we'll have the course agenda what is mule soft what is orchestration and the endpoint platform and api lifecycle we'll discuss the second section is the mule basics in this we'll discuss about the endpoint studio basics we'll create our first mule api then we'll see how to use the postman in order to hit the services from postman then we'll have the mule message event and debugging how we can debug the mule event and basically the mule flow and then we'll go through the mule variable and global elements the next section is the java module and runtime deployments so we in this section we have the java module how we can implement the java module and we'll see how standalone mule we can basically run the deployment part and how we can install the runtime in endpoint platform to deploy the apis then we have the rest and the soap api consumers so first we'll see how we can consume any of the rest api in market and then we'll see how we can consume any of the soap api available in market and the next section is the file module so this section is important in which we'll see how to read in the file from the file or from or how we can basically write into the file then we'll see the file watermarking for each loop and everything then we'll move to the database module in this we'll see the how we can connect to the mysql database we'll see how we can create the database on your local then how you can basically use the yaml to externalize the properties we can see the secure property in mule 4 and and last we'll see the database watermarking the next is the domain project we have so we'll see why we'll implement the domain project and we'll see how we can implement that then we have few mule component like scatter gather first successful until successful we'll see that and then we'll see the jms java messaging service and we'll use active mq the next section is the important section that is the data view 2.0 in mule 4 they have introduced the new data view which is a uh, more fast and robust so we have divided this into different sections so we have first the basics of data view then we have complex data view experiment transformation condition lambda function custom functions and then finally we have data view 2.0 functions the next section is the exception handling so we'll see the difference between mule 3 and mule 4 exception handlings and then we'll divide it into mule exception handling or the error handling into part three parts part one and part two and part three and the next is the cloud hub deployment so we'll see how we can deploy our api on cloud hub then we'll move to the api led connectivity this is the architecture followed by the mule soft and then the raml design so we have four parts in which we'll in depth cover all the raml part then we'll see the m unit this is the for the testing purpose that is the mule m mule unit so we had divided this into two part part one and part two and at last we'll see the api management and the policy implementation so this is the whole course basically required in order to clear the mule soft certification so now it comes to the certification details so the certification for the mule soft for the mule 4 basically for the developer for developer we have mule soft certified developer level one mule 4 in this the format is multiple choice question and this is closed book and there are two options one is the proctored online you can give the online exam using the web camera and all and the second one is you can go to the testing center and then you can there you can give the exam so total will have 60 questions 
and we'll have 120 minutes of time passing score is 70 percent and the language is english we're gonna take and the cost of certification is 250 dollars so now in comes to the course cost so if you planning to take the training for mule 4 mule 4 training from the mule soft will cost you around five thousand dollars in market from trainers you will get it from around from 300 to 500 dollars or maybe thousand dollars our course is available in 99 dollars for a limited time and also we are running a discount of 50 percent for the limited time so you just need to go to the mulesoftexpert.com you can purchase the course with my coupon and the coupon and everything will be available in the descriptions so you can go through that and you can yeah you can avail this offer to in order to learn the mule 4 and this is for a limited time so yeah hurry so this is about the mule 4 so if you are really interested to learn mule 4 and in order to create the certification and uh, yeah you can just go to the description and just see the link and you can just uh, enroll for the course so that's it for this video so thank you for watching this video see you next video